Hi, I'm JD, and here's the problem. A coin is tossed five times. Find the probability of getting exactly three heads, and then uh, find the probability of getting at most two heads. So pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, there's a long way and there's a short way to do this. I'm gonna just show you the short way today. Notice that this is a coin. So you can either get heads or tails. So there's two outcomes. Notice that also the trials are fixed. You have five trials. Now also notice with a coin that the probability of success one out of two is always the same. And notice also that each trial does not affect the other. Well, what does that all mean? That means that it's a binomial experiment, which means that you can use the formula for a binomial distribution, which is P of X equals, and I'm gonna give you uh, two ways to, to write this. Uh, n factorial over n minus x parentheses factorial x factorial p raised to the x uh, q raised to the n minus x. All right, n is the number of trials, number of trials. Uh, X is the number of successes. P is the probability of success for each trial. And Q is the probability of, it's the same thing, uh, probability but it's the probability of failure. Now another way to, to write this is using combination. So it's N C X. Uh, you choose X from N combinations times P raised to the X, Q raised to the N minus x. Now on a calculator you can do uh, either. On a scientific calculator you can actually use combinations. And it might be easier and quicker to use this formula. So uh, A, getting exactly three heads. So a, defined A is you're getting exactly three. So your probability of success or the number of successes would be three. So P of three equals, I'm gonna use this, the number of trials that I have is five. And the probability or the number of successes that I want is three times, and then I have my P. Now, P here is the probability of success. What's the probability of success? One half, one out of two. And that's gonna be raised to the third power times the probability of failure, which is one half, raised to the N minus X. So that's five, minus three, which is two. Now you type that on your calculator. Now when you type this in your calculator, when you're using probability, uh, it's three decimal places as the rounding rule. So if you're gonna use this, push five first. Here on this calculator, it's under prob, PRB. So select probability, 
you have permutations, combinations, and then factorial. Uh, choose combinations, which looks in the calculator like you have five and then N, C, R, then push three. I'm timesing that by one half. One half is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 raised to the third power times 0.5 squared. I just push the square button. And I get 0 0.3125. Again, I'm going to round it to three decimal places. So that would be 0 0.313. Letter B. It says getting at most two heads. So what do you need to calculate? It's at most. So you can get either zero, one, or two. So, so you can get the probability of zero, or when you consider or, use plus. Use the additive rule. So P of 0, P of 1, plus P of 2. It's at most 2. So it can get either 0 heads, 1 head, or 2 heads. And so I'm calculating all these probabilities. So you have 5, this would be 0, right? I'm just plugging in the formula. So 5, 0, 0, and then this would be 5. So what I can do is basically I can copy and paste when it comes to this. With a calculate this, you could just use the arrows and just change the numbers. So let me just write these all out so you can see. So this is 5C0 times 1 half, it's raised to 0, times 1 half, right, the probability of failure, raised to the 5, plus uh, 5 combinations, zero, one half, well this would be one, my bad, one raised to the first times one half raised to the fourth plus uh, you have five combinations two, uh, one half raised to the second power times one half raised to the third power. <coughs> and I'm finding each of these and I'm adding them together. So I'm just going to write it as it is on the calculator, 0 0.03125, all right, so 5C1 times 1 half or 0.5 raised to the 1 times 0.5 raised to the fourth. That gives me 0 0.15625 plus five combinations two times one half or 0.5 raised to the second power times 0.5 raised to the third power. And that gives me 0 0.3125. So 
So then I just add these together. So 0 0.03125 plus 0 0.15625 plus 0 0.3125. And my answer is 0 0.5. Exactly. Now, if you round it in the in between steps, uh, your answer is going to be a little different. So just, just be aware of that. And that's it.